everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. This is episode 20. Last time we met with Horsemaster Dennett, and we've been trying to complete some tasks to get his assistance in giving us horses, and uh, that involves a lot of hinterlands adventuring. Uh, so we'll probably be venturing out there again, but to begin the episode, the War Council. So we'll see what uh, everyone has to say. I've only got two out of three operations ready to turn in at the moment because Josephine was on a much longer adventure. But if we take a look, we have the Build Watchtowers report ready. Commander Cullen, with the Watchtowers built, we've had advance warning of demon and bandit attacks. The area is safer for both the refugees and the farmers who have fled the nearby fields. Much appreciated, sir. It's good to know that the Inquisition is willing to put in the time to help these people. Corporal Vale, and rewards received nothing except the happiness of people that now have Watchtowers. Lovely. So that's done. Oh, Josephine has one hour remaining. So I'll probably be able to check on that towards the end of the episode, which is nice. Um, and then identify Venatory agent. An excerpt from a Ben Hasrath information report. The target was eliminated and as expected, all other targets went into hiding. Duke Tithus did not look out our operatives during his search. The information the Duke found on the corpse revealed the smuggler's Venatory involvement. Duke Tithus has cut off trade with the Tevinter Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Hunter Fell is no longer subject to Venatory influence. Per his request, Operative Iron Bull will receive further intelligence reports to continue his efforts. Supplies from Saharon have also been dispatched. Huh. The smuggler was the Venatory. I thought that we were going to eliminate one and it might draw the real one out. I don't... Okay. We got it. All right, cool. It was the smuggler. Never trust a smuggler, apparently. Awesome. We have a hundred influence and an elf snake vitar. Cool. All right. We we're able to put um, Liliana and Cullen to work on something else. So let's take a look. What do we got? We've got observing the deadlock. Now, in the wake of so many important deaths and the rise of the Inquisition, noble houses are attempting to spur their fortunes by crafting an alliance. Uh, so Liliana says to just let them squabble on their own, and Cullen says invite them to observe our soldiers' training. And then Josephine suggests someone be offered as an ambassador of the Herald, not the Inquisition, if only to let them know in a non-threatening way that we are watching. I'll send Liliana we have. by allowing them to just squabble. We won't, we'll just let the let the rabble talk. This is an interesting one. Not participating in this mission, so this is only for Josephine, and costs twenty power. Um, my dearest Josephine, the hills of Empre du Lion are in peril. A maid servant recently returned from visiting an uncle in Sarina. Sarnia spoke of gruff, helmeted men about the village's quarry and the appearance of strange red crystals in the fields close by. I suspected Red Lyrium and sent men to investigate, but the bridges leading to the area had all been destroyed. The Red Templar's handiwork, I wager. If we do not quickly, all of the highlands may be lost. I wish I bore fairer tidings, my dear. My warmest regards to your family. I pray for the quelling of these winter winds of chaos that we may meet again in springtime. Your truest friend and ally, Edward. Um, all right, that's 20 power. I think we've got we've got stopping venatory activity in the west, which is also 20. Investigating the western approach, which is uh, eight. Scouts are reporting a number of travelers entering the western approach. Surprising, since the place is a blighted desert with no trade routes. More surprise, more surprising. No one is leaving. The bears investigating. So this is for Cullen. Immediate deployment of troops to secure a position in the western approach. It costs eight power. Let's have him do that. Commander, we've established a foothold in the western approach per orders. Already one skirmish with the Venatori, but no casualties. Requesting reinforcements. The term blighted desert doesn't do this place justice, Lieutenant Harding. Not now. And now we've got western approach resources to do, because we've unlocked another place to travel to. Um... Crazy. Crazy. 
All right, let's see what we can do over in Ferelden. Fallowmire, there's just like a lot of resources. We've got Reclaiming the Mage Rebellion, the Bog Unicorn, Frostback Basin, Disaster in the Deep Roads. I think the Disaster in the Deep Roads and the Frostback Basin ones, um, I'm pretty sure are DLC locations, I think. So we'll probably check those out um, later on. The Bog Unicorn. We have received an offer of assistance. Oh yeah, this was the horse. All right, you can go get the horse. Give us Inquisitor. the horse. The creature has arrived. It is just as unnerving as ex expected. <laughs> we have a unicorn. And reclaiming the Mage Rebellion. Fiona. We got the word out to everyone we could, but some cells were too remote to reach. We'll need the Inquisition to contact them, at least to let them know the Templars are gone. They are gone, right? Right? Uh, so... Non-Templar soldiers to protect the mages on their way here with Cullen. A few agents with a mage to persuade them to come in. And rebel mages may not believe we aren't Templars. I reckon I want to have Liliana do that one because agents with a mage would make um, the most sense. And then this is for Josephine, I believe. So we can send her on that in an hour's time. I think in that case, the only thing that we've got left is um, resources and doing stuff like this. Stopping Venatory activity in the West. Leliana's spies have discovered orders from the Venatory's high-ranking commanders. A large number of mages are traveling westward to excavate something of great value to our cause. The Inquisition must find whatever its enemies are searching for. The region is vast, but Leliana is ready to put her network to use in tracking down Corypheus's minions. The Venatory are sending some of their best scholars into the wilderness. Let us discover precisely where they're heading. So we've got like a 20 power choice and a 30 power choice, and then another 20 over here. This is our main quest, so I think I'm going to keep 30 power handy because we're going to get to this one soon, I believe. So I'll do some more things out in the hinterlands and maybe some other regions, but um, Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts will be what we want to pursue, I think. And then we've got Here Lies the Abyss. Varric has a friend named Hawk. Oh, you know what? Hmm. We can do this one now, and then we can go and get the power for this one on the way. Cool. All right, we're going to head back to the Hinterlands to um, return to the Widower, but also to inform Bronn that the Watchtowers have been built. Uh, we've unlocked a Codex entry for a new location. The Western Approach. Once these wastes were a land of plenty, can you believe it? The rain came north over the Gamordan peaks, turning the plains green and verdant for three months of the year. 800 years ago, that changed. During the second blight, dark spawns spilled out of enormous crack in the earth, corrupting it with their foul blood, and it never recovered, even after they were driven back underground. The Grey Wardens built adamant fortress to stand watch over that chasm, but eventually even they abandoned it to the wind and the biting sand. What few of us eke out a living in this maker-forsaken place do so, knowing that any number of deaths await us. Darkspawn raids, dun dragons, bandits, not to mention starvation from the lack of water and game. If we stay, it is because we know there are treasures buried in the bones of this place, ruins from the time when Tevinter ruled, and even earlier. We pass tales around our campfires of the things we have seen, shrouded in the dust storms. My favourites are the ones about relics that could restore the western approach once more, but I don't believe them. Truth be told, on nights when the wind is calm, I can stand on a hilltop and see for miles in the moonlight over a stark beauty of which no other Orlesian can claim to know the equal. On those nights, I hope it will never change. From Lands of the Abyss by Magistrate Gilles de Saint Christ. Resources found here are many. Paragon's Luster is a good one. What creature is in here that I haven't read? Might have been from last episode. 
What am I missing here? Sometimes the notification um, little symbol is hard to see. I can't see it. I can't see it. Where is it? It's not the horse because... Oh, it is the horse. It is the horse. Oh, it updates for each horse that we get. Interesting. Cool. There are codex entries for all of our little uh, little horses. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> Me looking at every single other one except the horse again. Um, never in all my days did I think I would handle such barding. Never mind the quality of the breed. A true purebred lineage clad in the hallmarks of a master. The combination is one of a kind and this animal knows it. Mount and rider, meant for greatness. Don't disappoint. The bar has been set very, very high. The Inquisition Armoured Charger. The Red Heart is honoured to see one up close without meeting it points first. The pride of the stable, of any stable. Even the Dalish I've had occasion to ask have said it's rare to glimpse them at a distance. The few who have mastered one, and it truly is very few, say there is no animal more sure of foot, more attuned to its rider, more inspirational to simply gaze upon. You want to match the majesty of this creature? Grow some bloody wings. On the bog unicorn. Still not sure what you unearthed. Talked to a mage about it and got a typical head in the fade response. Got a better answer from that tranquil of yours, and it still chilled my short hairs. Plain speak, there's a spirit of some kind in there. Now, a horse to me means freedom, but I understand that sometimes it's a demon? The wrong side of what it should be. What's the wrong side of freedom? Chaos or just unending? Something like that. Whatever is in there, this animal was best of breed, an Orlesian charger fit for any chevalier, as well as, as well tended in life. By its wounds, I had wager it fell in battle with demons of some ilk and was finished by its master's mercy. Whatever spirit of loyalty or freedom or whatever makes horses run uh, brought the strange thing back. It wants to serve. I've no doubt it will ride well, and I'll stable it, but I'm not going near it. We've got an undead unicorn. Gotcha. Okay. That's our start of episode reading spectacular, as usual. Um, let's check in with Bron, and then we'll return to Redcliffe for our uh, returning to the Widower. Um, I'm going to bring, I think, um, hmm. Yes, I'm just going to take my, my three, my three friends. I think Cole is a good one to take with many people with just like the way that he gets a read on, on everyone else. But I wish to roam the lands with Varric for a time. I need to uh, go to my, the Undercroft and start changing the colors on everyone's gear as well. So I can make Christ everyone look cool. So we'll, we'll probably do that when I next return to Skyhold. If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. I've built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That'll give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. I'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. Lovely. And now we can convince Dennett to provide horses to the Inquisition. Cole approves. Uh Cole just likes when we help people. And I just like when we jump. That is the wrong person. Um, horse master, where are you? Where's horse master? Horses for the Inquisition. He was in his house, wasn't he? He's not showing up on the map. Even though this is the main quest that I've got. Ticked. He's in a house, isn't he? This one. This is his house. Why aren't you on the map? Elena says you got rid of those demon cursed wolves. Should be safer for our farmers now. You've held up your end of our bargain, Inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. Lovely. 
Pretty sure we already asked this stuff. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Are you Andrastian? This is a matter of faith. The Maker would want the best to join us. I've heard some things about you lot. Can't say I'm not interested in what it all means. All right, Inquisition. I'll look to your horses myself. Never let it be said that Redcliffe gave less than the best. Just let me settle matters here and say goodbye to my wife. I'll meet you at Skyhold. Recruited, baby. Those watchtowers will keep my farmers and your refugees a lot safer. I've sent supplies to the crossroads. What can you tell me about the wilderness around here? Got some old ruins in the forest, from long before any king of Ferelden. The lakes are pretty, though when the weather's odd, you hear tell of spirits. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a track just over there. Fool girl likes to race the horses. <laughs> you said you were once Arl Eamon's stable master. Master of the Mounts. Fereldans don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlais, but they knew my name in Val Royo. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. And now they're all yours, Inquisition. Take care of them. Farewell. Make her be with you. Farewell. Agent acquired. Nice. Okay. So that's done. More power obtained. Now in the hinterlands, um, we've, we're gonna go do. Oh, that's cool. Related codex entries for quest. I haven't seen that. That's kind of neat. I like that. All right, let's um, fast travel to Redcliffe and go deliver the news. There must be something here. What am I looking for? Look where you jump. Uh, you might end up drowning. Please, Sammy, say nothing. Let the dreams just be dreams. I will love you no matter what you know. Oh. Deft hands, fine tools. I know, mother. I... God damn. I love you too. Well, it's always the deft hands find tools. Good day. Okay. I will wait until I have that perk. As soon as we, I think we're, it's the next perk that we can get. So the sky fell open. that'll be good. This was a land of spirits and demons. Magic grows wild in the hills of Redcliffe. I do not suppose you found my Senna's shrine. I know it is a long way to go. I cleaned Senna's shrine and placed the flowers. May her ashes be gathered by Falundine and carried safely. After all the long years she carried me. Thank you. You do a foolish old man too much kindness. Maseranus, Dalen, take this with my gratitude. Senna would have wanted you to have it. Nice. And then Solus finally settled down right at the end there. Cole is glad that we helped once again. And um, Sarah never cares when we do elven things. <laughs> Solus does, though. Cool. That's that Redcliffe thing, which I probably should have resolved uh, as soon as I... As soon as I um, laid the flowers at the grave. Good I got day. distracted, because there's just so much to do. Uh, we're going to head to this Astrarium cave, because we connected all those Good last day. time, too. So that's a good idea. Off we go. Now, this is probably not the way to get there. We have to go the long way around. Now, apparently, sprinting mod should actually not clash with uh, with party banter uh, at all. Funnily enough, it's uh, it's actually uh, the mod is structured in a way where it doesn't prevent conversations. So I'm going to keep sprinting to test that theory. Um, 
So hopefully we can get confirmation on that for my game personally. Um, if they start talking with one another, but I might have to pick a different, um, I might have to pick a different group because I think these guys have spoken with each other quite a lot. So we'll see. Cole seems to be a chatty sort, so might try that and we'll see. Now it looks like this cave and the mage hideout might be how we get to this Astrarium cave. So it's all one in the same. Let's take a look in here. Oh, this one, nice. It is, okay. This is new. What's in the box? A snake blade dagger, okay. Oh yes, my inventory is full. I forgot that my, damn it. <laughs> I forgot that my inventory is full. It's so funny. Uh, we literally went to, um, <laughs> It's full by... Th I'm over by three. That's so funny. Um, the fact that I went over it by so much. And then we went back to Haven and I forgot. Uh, let's just destroy a couple of things in here. In our valuables. I'll take that. And then I'm going to go sell my stuff immediately. <laughs> I can just go do that back at Redcliffe, so that's fine. And then I think in terms of the hinterlands here, we've got horse racing and then it's like shards and red lyrium and rifts. So I think we've actually done a pretty good job at finishing the hinterlands for the most part. Yes. I say finish, but um, you know, there's I'm obviously- I'm watching you, Varric, just so you know. <laughs> well, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. What did I do now? Nothing. Yet. Just keep it that way. Varric Tethris, paragon of good behavior, at your service, Seeker. Paragon of good behavior. <laughs> Amazing. Good day, Inquisitor. I like that sort of like, you haven't done anything yet, except he totally has. Still shitty over the, uh, over the hawk stuff. All right, I'm going to do some inventory management and then we'll be on our way. Okay, I've done well for my inventory management and I went one step further and decided to tint other characters' armor. I've also crafted a couple of things and we've been able to do an inventory and uh, equipment rearrange as well because Iron Ball is now level 12, so he can wield that prismatic great axe. So I've been able to finally equip some things. Our inventory is small and now we can go here lies the abyss. We're going to meet Hawk's warden ally in Crestwood. I, I, uh, I'm so excited because like, ah, like the way that we get a reunion with Hawk and then he's like, oh, hey, uh, by the way, I have a, I have a friend. Why, why can't I click on it? I have a friend. Just Alistair, he's just my friend, and uh, we're gonna go and just hang out in the Crestwood. I can't click on it though. Maybe I can't travel directly to there? That doesn't make sense though. I can't travel to the Crestwood. Do I have to do something else? Why wouldn't it work? Can't click on it. Because usually when you click on it, it pops up with your quests and then you click on it again, and then you can travel. Do I have to... Oh, do I have to investigate the Crestwood on the war table? I would have thought that I wouldn't. I'm just not sure why I can't travel there. Oh, there we go. Now it works. That was weird. Wouldn't let me click on it in the, uh, in the Undercroft, but that's fine. Now I can. I was like, how dare you? Do not prevent travel. Uh, we have to take Varric. We have to take Blackwall. 
Um, oh, bring in a Canari could be a very interesting one. We need Varric because Varric and Hawk, obviously. We need Blackwall because Blackwall is a Grey Warden and Alistair is a Grey Warden. So there's bound to be something there. And then... Oh, my default is to just kind of go with Solus. I really wonder what bringing coal would be like though as well, you know? Oh, there's just so many fun ones. Cause that's like the tough one is like, I'd like to bring Dorian. Cassandra would love this because Cassandra would see Hawk, you know? Oh, it's a, it's a tough one because I want to have Cassandra and Hawk have a, have a meeting, have a conversation. I think this is the opportunity for that. As much as I would like to bring Solus along. Oh, I think this is going to be my trio. We're going to do Varric with Hawk, Cassandra with Hawk, and Blackwall with Alistair. Um, yeah, as much as I would bring, love to bring a mage in Solus, I just, I think he'd just be more of an observer. So two warriors, a rogue, and myself as a mage. I think that's good. Let's go to Crestwood. I'm just always trying to think of like the best people to bring for like dialogue and story connectivity, you know? And th this three feels like the best. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. We've got trouble ahead. If you're on edge, I should alert the entire Inquisition. Or increase my hazard pay. That's an option. Are things that bad? Ooh. Like a rift in the ocean? Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Wild. Oh! Interesting. Flirting with Scout Harding is an interesting one. Okay, unexpected. Sure, why not? I wish we could get better acquainted, Harding, when the dead aren't rising around us, Babs. <laughs> the world would crumble to dust before you ran out of ills to fight. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. Nice. Codex unlocked in the Great Wood. Uh, the Crestwood. It's made a word up there. Um, amazing. Let's have a read. I think that's our first, um, dwarven character that we've been able to do a romance towards. Crestwood is a small village of no real consequence to the lords and ladies who ride through on their way to Valrio or Denerim. Though people are glad for visitors, however. Residents tend livestock and grow what crops they can, but their chief income comes from trade. I was dining alone at the local inn, which is qu quaintly perched, quaintly perched on top of a dam, when I overheard the barman mention tunnels beneath the village. I was surprised to learn that a vast cave system riddles the land surrounding Crestwood. The locals told me tales of strange noises and eerie lights, of entire expeditions swallowed by underground fissures, of screams in the dark that come from nowhere and return just as swiftly to nothing. I scoffed, then went for a stroll around the area. The night was clear and I was wending down a pleasant glade in the hills when I heard a rasping hiss. Dropping in my walking staff, I spied an overgrown opening to a small cavern. With those footsteps padding away into the dark, I heard then, or a startled animal. That night, I let the candle in my room burn longer than usual. From a, the diary of a traveller from Valshevin, three months before the start of the fifth blight. It's the tutorial. Mounts. One more left. Okay, we've established one out of two camps in Crestwood, so it's not a very big location, it seems. Nice. Oh, so tiny. Undead have terrorized Crestwood since a Fade Rift appeared in the lake. That's cool. We have to go through a, a, a rift in the lake. That's really cool. Okay. 
Alright, let's investigate. A lot of um, rainy and stormy locations. There must be a way to get to the rift in the lake. Maybe the locals will lend us a boat. I'm looking at a boat, like literally right now. Surely we can just use my staff as an oar and uh, out we go, right? <laughs> let's just go for a swim, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not going for a swim, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We're going to... I can't believe that we're getting uh, an Alistair meeting as well as uh, more Hawk. Makes me so happy. Fighting undead. No stranger to that. Village, miss. These roads aren't safe. Whoa! The Grey Wardens, thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. Oh my god. Look at that Grey Warden armor. And they don't have creepy eyes through the helmet. They're actually proper eyes. Amazing. What are you doing in Crestwood? Hunting one of our own. We have orders to capture Sir Alistair of Ferelden on site. The man's slippery as an eel. We've been chasing him for weeks. Oh. So. Okay, so they they mentioned he was in hiding. Maybe I missed the detail. He's in hiding from other Grey Wardens. What's he done? What have you been told about this rogue Warden? Warden Commander Clarell ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Alistair comes quietly. I not fight the man who helped kill that many Darkspawn. Huh. Okay. Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Farewell. Farewell. Maybe I missed the detail about Sir, him. are you sure we can't help the village? Our orders are clear. If we can't find Warden Alistair, we return to the Commander with all haste. Still don't feel right. I know, but if I judge our orders rightly, harder decisions will... None of those Wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the Order. Or some of the best liars I've ever seen. Nah, no, you're right. They're probably clueless. I hope Hawk's Warden friend has answers for us. Okay. Perhaps I'm missing a couple of details or I've uh, forgotten a couple. It does happen sometimes. Perhaps in my uh, overjoyment and excitement of talking to Hawk, I just totally didn't even listen to anything he said. <laughs> and I was just too busy getting lost in that shiny dome of his. Um, alas, we'll get caught up on everything when we actually have a uh, an encounter with him. Which I am so very excited for, though. I'll try and actually listen to what they have to say instead of uh, jumping up and down on my chair. Oh, demons everywhere. That's a big-ass boat. Surely we can take this one. I know that the rage demon is, like, Im like immune to fire, or it's, but, it, like, it still does... It still does damage. There's some immunities, but then you can see damage numbers as well. Corpse brain. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn in my monster research. Uh, is even terrain too much to ask for? Is that a problem? Well, you might be used to traipsing through the countryside, punching dragons, interrogating people, or whatever it is you did before this. I'm from the city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the city. I love that. Um, yeah, I've got my monster stuff I need to turn in. Surely we just push this boat out and off we go. Um, where am I heading? We're heading along the coast, it seems. Um, instead of that, I might push up over this way. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is, a, this is the best group. I'm excited for Cassandra to meet Hawk so much. Undead by the gates! 
Ready when you are. I really hope that like Hawks lurks with her as well. I don't know. I just feel like it would just make me so happy because like we made a couple of jokes during Dragon Age 2 with the way that she would like react to certain things. So I was like, she's got a crush on Hawk. <laughs> Thanks for your help, but I fear we haven't seen the end of these creatures. I would love it if uh, How many did we lose? they had a good interaction no like that. Time. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the blight. I'm not surprised. I got some level ups for my characters as well. I'm going to give them some points. Varric, uh, an artificer. After years of experience with the Merchants Guild and the publishing world, Varric has become an expert at handling deadly traps and convoluted devices. Oh, so it's an update to his traps. It's a good thing I've already put some skills in there, I suppose. You set a trap when an enemy approaches, detonates and flings enemies into the air. When an ally critically hits, you take advantage of their success with reduced cooldown times. Mastered proper placement. When you spring any trap, your enemies feel it. And hail of arrows. You fire so quickly that enemies will swear there are at least two of you putting arrows in their ranks. While this ability is active, any archer archery ability uses duplicated. Okay. Not bad. And then there's some stealthy ones in here as well. So it's like a mixture. I guess we'll work towards getting the focus ability. Do that. Um, Cassandra. The Templar ability of Cassandra. Interesting. Shouldn't this be like a... Shouldn't this be a Seeker tree instead? Long ago, the Seekers of Truth founded the Templar Order and taught them how to deal with hostile mages and their spells. Cassandra thus possesses all of the Templar's abilities without the risk of Illyrium addiction. Mm -hmm. You'd think that it would be a Seeker tree, don't you? With, like, their cool abilities that they have. Blessed Blades. Maker's Will. Spell Purge. Champions of the Just. Okay. Three points. And then Rally. Inspire your allies to fight harder. Your party's guard, stamina, and mana build over time. All party members gain damage resistance against incoming attacks. The Last Sacrifice. Oh. Your allies. You give your allies the strength to fight on harder in your name. Interesting. Okay. Get a few of these, so we'll get Blessed Blades. And then we'll get that. Okay. Templar abilities. And then um Blackwall has champion. He's sworn to give his life to protect his friends and allies. He puts himself between them in danger, and his experience and resolve let him stand against attacks that would fell weaker warriors. I've already put a point in line in the sand when I've done a little bit of leveling with my characters. You call upon the legacy of the greatest champions in history, defying enemies as you hold your position. This stops enemies from moving past you and enables you to block choke points. You don't flinch, don't blink, and don't back down. Enemies that hit you with melee attacks are staggered, and you stand all the stronger to finish the fight. A bonus to your maximum guard. No longer has a cooldown, and it lasts until you cancel it. Interesting. I'll put that one on. But this is a good one. Right. Lovely. So we can go through here. Village of Crestwood. And the mayor is here. The mayor of Crestwood. I tell you, I saw him. The necklace his mother gave him is still around his neck. Oh it's man. My son. That's brutal. My boy. It's a demon in his body. Your son's been dead for ten years, Liam. Oh, Maker. Help me. That's fucking miserable. Go to Crestwood and steal everyone's crops. Bit late to be getting a Deathroot Codex entry, but there it is nonetheless. Deathroot has been used in magic and potion making for centuries. It's a fragile looking plant with a thin stalk and purple flowers, which fruits once a year, developing bright red fleshy pods that cause disorientation and dizziness if ingested. There are two varieties. The more common arcanist Deathroot was first found by Archon 
Hadrianus, when he discovered it growing on several dead slaves. The others, Lunatic Deathroot, is most closely associated with the story of the courtesan Melusine, who sought revenge on a powerful magister and his family. She harvested the plant, baked it into small pies for the magister's banquet, and presented them to the magister at the banquet. Uh, all the guests were seized by terrifying hallucinations after eating the pies and tore each other to pieces. Oh my god. When the edibles hit, oh my god. When the edibles hit, everybody becomes edible. Alright, let's have a chat. Who's around here? Gold. Why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Make her, if something happens. I. Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Okay. Good day to you. And to you. I guess we're on the lookout for, uh, yeah, the naturalist. Check up on Judith. Go be on the lookout for that. A moment, your worship. Uh. I mean, you're not even on my map as a thing. I can't even talk to you. Okay, never mind. <laughs> a moment. And then he walks off. Okay. We haven't had visitors since the trouble started. Um, okay, bye. Harvest would be poor. It's not safe to work the fields. What does it matter? There's no one to sell to. No merchant comes through here anymore. And with the mule dead, I can't take the cart to market. Dead? What happened? What do you think? Those things broke into our barn and ripped poor Marigold apart. We heard her screams. But there was nothing we could do from inside the house. Crumpled letter. Letter written by a quick hand. From everything you've told me, you must get out of Crestwood as soon as you can. I know it's dangerous, but I fear you'll have no chance at all if you don't attempt the trip. My father said that taking Dead Man's Pass will guide you safely past those filthy highwaymen. If you come at dusk, you should be able to avoid the wolves too. Hurry, my love. Sin. Yes, taking Dead Man's Good Pass... Day. As good as it gets these days, It has anyway. such a good ring to it. Yes, go through Dead Man's Pass. That'll be the safest one. And then uh, travel through the lava pits of... Uh, oh, can I get in here? Go away! No, I can't. Are the corpses still out there? Maker, it's the end of the world! Go away! Maker, it's the end of the world! Right, we'll just go in through the window. Properly sealed. Is there a back door here? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? There's a big fucking cheese wheel with a bunch of tarot cards and a dead body. Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck is around the corner? <laughs> I'm trying to look for an entrance to this house and I found big wheel. Oh my god. Hello? Anyone else aware of the fact that there's just a big cheese wheel at the back there? Please! The mayor could use your assistance. All right. Well, if it's food you're after, I know just where to find it. It's a little bit soggy, though. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> Let's talk to the mayor, shall we? Oh! My god. That was close. Almost got struck by lightning. The Inquisitor. Farewell. Oh, oops. I literally walked like five centimeters away. Your Worship, is there any way to stop the dead from rising? I hate that I missed what he was initially saying to me because I stepped like just a little bit in the wrong direction. Because the problem with characters talking to you automatically as you approach them instead of you initiating conversation. The undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? 
The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Darkspawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. It wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. We are trying to help. The Inquisitor is the only one who can close the rifts. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. Interesting. Drain the whole lake. Crestwood can't last much longer. I don't want to leave without doing what I can. I... Uh, I suppose it must come to this. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under Old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, Your Worship. It's all we've ever wanted. What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen? Thugs and thieves. They make a living raiding caravans on the King's Road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper in the fort and took it for themselves. We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the Blight. It was a close thing. The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the Blight. Some of the refugees were... Yeah, they were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the Darkspawn flooded Old Crestwood. Uh, how did Darkspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls, wrecked them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now, they return to us. Until later. Of course. Claim the keep to reach the dam. Okay, so it's a full adventure to get through to this place. Mechanism to control Crestwood's dam is inside the building behind Care Bronach Keep. And there's the naturalist, and there's a camp. Rift. Did you see how the Grey Warden saved me from those corpses? They're amazing. I'm going to see if they're looking for recruits. It was actually me uh, who saved you, but that's okay. You want to join the Grey Wardens now? Oh, Maker. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes. The Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. Just saying, go ahead and join. Can I just say, um... Join the Inquisition instead. You don't have to drink any blood to join the Inquisition and you can help people. I don't get a choice to offer her to join the Inquisition. Farewell. I'll make you proud, Your Worship. Interesting. Message board. This board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it. No one is to approach the dragon again. I've sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any sign of Henry at first light. My Herr Dedrick. One of my lambs went missing. Stripe on the front hoof. Disappeared yest. Evening in Upper Meadow. Ah, oh, yesterday evening. Like, disappeared yest. Evening. Irvin. If anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did. Penelope. Need rake? I will lend you one for five cor coppers. Come see me. I also have wagon. It's very good. Bite needs rep. You can have it. Just come take it away from me home. Bring wheels. Why? Someone has also carved Milton and Lonnie into the back. Amazing. Good, good show. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to say go ahead and join. 
You can, I'm not going to encourage that behavior. You could die drinking that blood. You should join the Inquisition. Who's talking? There, and go toward light. The you honor us, Inquisitor. I am Sister Vaughan. Does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake? I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. <laughs> there will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Your devotion does you credit, sister. Seek a pentecast. <laughs> Forgive me, I did not expect to see the right hand of the divine in our humble village. Be at ease. We have too much to do to stand on rank. Yes, seeker, as you say. What did you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Until later. Farewell. Until later. Alright, more draining the lake. Mentions? Yeah. Memory of the Drowned. On the eighth day of blooming tide, in the thirtieth year of the Dragon Age, we fought the fifth light. We remember the night the dam broke open, drowning the darkspawn in floodwater. We remember the cries of those swept away, our families and good neighbors. We remember refugees who took shelter with us, also lost in the dark. And we give their souls to the Maker, beloved Andraste, guide them to his side. Carved into the base of a memorial statue in Crestwood above a list of names. This is the uh, old ancient coffee shop. As you can see, there's the hot coffee symbol here. I love being able to see the, the lightning striking things around you. That rift in the lake is so ominous from a distance. Again, Dragon Age really just nails the, uh, nails the atmosphere, don't they? Of the areas that they create. I was expecting us to kind of almost, probably naive of me, but I was expecting uh, us to almost have a complete straight shot at um, heading straight to Hawk. So it gives me an opportunity to um, shift around the, the party a bit, maybe, for some different banter, but might keep it for now. So we've gone up to the village, spoken to the mayor. Now, it, I believe we can go down the coastline to get to this location. journal. The bandits are just across the way, so I can keep an eye on those bastards. I managed to take back some of the supplies they stole from that traveling merchant. They didn't even see it coming, but I'm not afraid. If they want to fight, they can come get me. Lame. Hidden cave. A wooden facade has been erected at the mouth of this cave, presumably to shield any occupants from the weather. Collecting mushrooms. Yeah, there's someone in here. Oh, oh, and nugs are in here too. Unnatural things walk in the night. 
It's the Maker punishing a sinful world. That's what I say. Eh? Mind if I just loot your place? Can't talk to you though. Interesting. You just move along. We don't need any trouble. Right. Very friendly people there in that cave. 8D mushrooms, let's go. I expected maybe a conversation, but no, not very friendly down there. So we're going to continue going out this way. I guess we'll set this as our active quest. Ah yes, I see the, the structure in the distance. Gotcha. Rather damp for this time of year. Wait, hang on. Oh. Weird that that's still marked. Oh shit. Got some red lyrium. This is a big boy. Look at this. Back. Look at this. Oh shit. There's more. We can't destroy it though. Barrack, get away from there. No! He has nothing to say about it. This kind of sucks. So there's no. Okay. Even though he's like, hey, destroy red lyrium for me. Sometimes when you find some out in the field, you're like, ah, this red lyrium can stay. I would have expected some mention or maybe even some enemies nearby, but I let's follow this Glen Red Templars ahead. Oh. Be cautious. They look well armed. It's a fucking Red Templar. Okay. Makes sense. They're like, wow, look at this shit. You want to get high, Templars? Let's get high. And there's an Astrarium on my minimap. The Guide of Falondin. Falondin sought someone to be his messenger and companion. The wind was swift, but Falondin refused to chain it. The people were loyal, but could not live where Falondin walked. Then the owl came to him and said, I am not covered by dark. I am not cowered by darkness. Let me serve you, who was also no fear of night. Falondin accepted gladly and took the owl as his servant, who thereafter helped Falondin guide the people through the passage of the Vale. I ain't seeing any red Templars, but I, ain't, I am seeing a camp. Alright, I'm seeing red dots now, there we go. Templar Shadow. Someone help! I'm being bullied by someone up here. One more for me. Seeing all those status effects like taunted, panicked, and asleep all at the same time. Got him. So Varric just approves whenever we take out the uh, the Red Templars. Makes sense. Time to play Connect the Dots. Okay. It's a dragon with a sword it's the uh divine dragon from zakiro constellation kios 
Referred to as Chaos in common parlance, the constellation Chaos is thought to represent the old god Zazakil. These stars have often been depicted as ill omens. Thus, in the Tower's Age, a movement within the Chantry sought to change the constellation to a representation of a dove. It did not gain traction. According to folklore, the priest behind the effort fell from a bridge and died shortly after the divine Joyous II made the decision against her. I maintain that this never actually happened and is nothing more than astrological superstition. Alright, there's one. That will reveal the locations of the other two. I really like that finding one lets you know where the other two are. Very kind of them. Alright, so we've got bandits, and we've also got red templars chilling out over here. Viridium, and some fade touched viridium for masterworking. We should search the area. I'm looking. Bottle of Thetis, and even Sip Sip. Careful, this one's mean. Attic raised mean. Popular among highborn who wish to seem dangerous, but more at home grasped by the neck of those who actually are. Ugh. Okay. Sip sip. Where are we? Actually, we're getting close to the camp. I thought that we had to... Oh, hang on. There's something out there. Thought that we had to deal with the rift before we could get to Hawk, but it seems that we're we might actually unless this is a oh god well, I'm in a dragon's den okay unless maybe <laughs> this this is a dead end and I've actually entered a, a dragon's den with a baby as well. Wyvern, Wyvern, yeah. oh no. Level 11. Yeah, definitely not good. I need mages for this. I need more mages than what I have. That's just... Okay, that's level 12. Yeah. Okay. There's, there, there's, and there's another one, too. This much effort just for one, oh my god. congratulated by uh, some Orlesian duke now for my wyvern hunting. Well done. Bade knocker staff. Cool. Okay. We got a cool staff. Um... Critical chance, plus four willpower, and chance to cast a strike on hit. And it's an electrical staff. I'll keep that around. I think the only problem that uh, I really like having a plus five to my magic, I suppose. I'll be able to get this next level anyway, which is another lightning staff. Actually, hang on. My... Oh, that plus five magic might come from one of my uh, attachments, actually. I might be able to customize later. Walked right into a wyvern nest. That's cool. Elves riding Hala into battle. Wall.
Yeah, it's a dead end. But we got a cool staff. Okay. So it was just you alone in the vast wilderness. What are you on about? The lone wanderer searching the world. What's he trying to find? Love? Absolution? Try someone with a strong arm and stronger will to fight Darkspawn. Yes, but what does that represent? Wanting to kill more Darkspawn. Duh, you're just like Sebastian. <laughs> Varric thinks that Black Hole's boring. That's funny. He's trying to trying to poke at him. That's great. I love that. <laughs> You're just like Sebastian. Okay, well there was no red Templars in that cave, only a wyvern. There were not as many red Templars as I thought out this way. Sealed orders, Knight Templar Sturge. There's a small ruin in the hills above Crestwood. A tiny place, but it's old and elven, so leave no stone unturned. General Samson's orders. Oh, by the way, I've I've gotten my reminder of who Samson is. We see him briefly in Dragon Age 2. And I'm pretty sure he's voiced by Gideon Emery as well. Evil Gideon Emery. So Fenris and uh, Samson in the in the same game. Um, so I, I remember him showing up in uh, Dragon Age 2 now. You've been told what to look for, so I expect a report once you're done. Copy down any elven writing you see. Knight Lieutenant Morn. Again, another decent amount of connective tissue there to Dragon Age 2, um, if you're paying attention to it, which I failed to remember, Samson. But there are so many characters that I cannot always have everything right at my, um, right at the forefront of my mind. Try my best. Oh god, hang on, I, I asked for more, and there they are. I love casting a barrier on myself to make my fire spells stronger. Tense red lyrium. I guess I should try and look for a path. Um, I guess we can go down there. We need to get to that place. I guess I can. Go down. We'll just go down. It's fine. Alright, I'm in Dead Man's Pass. Apparently it's super safe down here, according to that letter, so we'll obviously be fine. Nothing to worry about. The darkening? might actually take us. He torches. This might actually take us to where we need to go. Yeah, people fighting. Um, above us, though. Bunch of red dots above us. Salmon. Oh god. Spider. The spider guarded loot. Okay. This is where I've already gone. This is new. I I really appreciate this. 
knowing if like to, to help you from losing your way, I guess, in a cavern, you're like, oh, I've gone down this pathway. That's um only something that I appreciate. So we'll just run down this pass. Spot. Wage war on some bandits. There's the keep the mayor talked about. And the bandits. Archers on the ramparts. Good defenses. They'll be hard to pry out. So we could have gone down this way, I think, yeah. More doors need to have that. More doors need to have that as a fucking thing. Let me just let me just break every door. Honestly. Integrated fella. Gotta get up there for the landmark, naturally. To that landmark from here? Yeah. We're going somewhere else entirely. This place is massive. Hello, everyone. Who's taken that last health potion? Me or Varric? For some reason, Var Varric never wants to heal. It's in his tactics to heal, but he just he just doesn't. Force feed him. Kill that warrior! Sandra's broken. I can't even. I can't. I can't move. Oh, there we go. 
Everyone's broken. Hello? Everyone, okay, wake up everyone. We're in combat. Everyone just wanted to like catch their breath for a moment there. I was the only one ready to fight. Good work, everyone. I think that's all of them. It'd be a shame to let this place go empty. The Inquisition could make good use of it. Nice. We got a new weapon, the last stand. This mall has reportedly made the difference in Hosberg's survival of a Darkspawn siege in the Third Blight. To this day, paintings in the Anderfells depict Lord Ansel atop the city's Black Tower, lofting the mall defiantly. However, while Hosberg did force the Horde into retreat, Grey Wardens entering the city found only chaos and no Ansel. 11 strength and gain 2 guard on hit. That's a good one. There's a little less damage than the Prismatic Great Axe that um, we've given to the bull, but... Oh god, Cassandra. I jumped into and almost fell. That would have meant my death. I really do miss the health regen from the previous two games, I gotta tell you. Um You know? God damn. Nice, we got a camp set up here now. Jolly good. Look at that. Nice work. Crestwood will breathe easier with the bandits gone. We should drain the lake. The mayor said the dam controls were through the fort. Okay. Good stuff. Um, let's try and get this landmark. Another rift. Which is our lake. Escape routes for agents in Crestwood. It's a full proper camp here, that's for sure. Uh, let me see if we can go and get this Who landmark. Your worship. Wherever it is. Okay, they add ladders once you claim the place. They're like, let's get some ladders up here so we can actually navigate this place. There you go. And this is the landmark. Ah, yes, what a beautiful landmark. Ah, yes, what a beautiful hanging station. I claim it for the Inquisition. The gallows of Caer Bronach. The gallows by the fortress are left over from when Orle warred with Ferelden. Let us be grateful they have not seen use in years, apart from children using the ropes as swings before the gamekeeper chases them off. With the bodies still there. Ah, kids. Hanging around with skele uh, skeletal corpses and blood stains. Oh, hello, Blackpool. Uh, amazing. Incredible. All right, we've got a couple of uh, quests in here as well. All right, let me back in, please. Let me back into this place. Ah, good to know that the doors have been repaired from me just destroying them. This is why they needed to fade to black. They're like, we need to have some time pass so we can repair, uh, repair? Repair the place. Miller got caught in Val Chavan. No. She fooled them into thinking she's from the court in Val Rio. They'll treat her well for a while. It's our fault for sending her out without a partner. Are you saying one of our spies is compromised? Yes, Inquisitor. Miller was captured in Valshavan. She was after valuable information. Perhaps arrangements could be made to bring her back. Valshavan? Rescue the spy, okay. I always say Valshavan, but Valshavan, apparently. We have an operation. Uh, everyone should be ready. Their quests, I think. Or Josephine and Liliana definitely are. I'll have to follow up. 
Hard in Hightown, Chapter 3. I love reading all of these out of order. I think we've read Chapter 1, 2, now 3 and 5. For the second time in what was becoming a very long night, Donan Brenokovic and his partner Jevlin found themselves knocking on a nobleman's door. It was still hours before dawn, the sky turning grey around the edges. The steel of Donan's gauntlets clanged against the door. Once, twice, no answer. He sighed, looking up at the dark windows of the mansion. He was getting too old for this shit. Maybe he's out, Jevlin offered. The recruit was nervous. In the guard a week and barely able to walk through Hightown, too green for a murder case. He's hiding. Look up. Donan pointed. He shuttered all the windows. There hasn't been a storm in months. He pounded on the door again, louder. We should get the captain. Jevelyn shifted and squirmed under his heavy shoulder plates. Donan had forgotten how badly new guard armor fit. He started to tell the kid where to get it adjusted, and the door swung open. Come inside, quickly! A man rushed them inside and through the house. Every room was dark. No moonlight made it through the shuttered windows. No candles flickered. Their way was lit only by a hooded lantern in the hands of their host. He stopped once they had reached a windowless inside bedroom, where he closed and bolted the door behind him. Comte de Favre? Donan guessed. The man nodded. In the dim lantern light, Donan can see that he was dressed in a goldy brocade double, but had thrown a chainmail shirt over it. He wore the helmet from an obviously ceremonial armor set, slightly askew on his head. I know why you're here, the Comte whispered. Dunwald. Donan's voice was flat. Did you kill him, your lordship? This is bigger than a murder, the Comte hissed. Eyes flickering at, flicking to the door, Dunwald drew the attention of great powers. When dragons do battle, guardsmen, mortal men can only take cover. Drop the case. Don't draw their gaze. Okay. Interesting. Find out what happens next time in Chapter 4. There's a lot to engage with map here. I guess we'll go in here. Mosaic piece. Climb down. But perhaps we should do this lake first. Here. Here. The mayor said the down controls were through this gate. Okay, so we've got to go right, right on, dude. Going on an adventure. Let's just take a quick peek. We've got subtitles of people talking, but I don't know where they are. Love that we're just getting subtitles of a full conversation somehow. to be met with oh what's this we to be met with resistance I wonder if there were bandits down the area of the black fens some enemies for us to come out here at this point, but maybe I should wait. There'll probably be some quests or something that will pull us in this direction, I would assume. We will claim it, though. Law Speaker's Assembly. Litka. We've got ourselves a few months' work repairing the dam. The mayor wants us to meet him at the Law Speaker's Assembly to seal the bargain. He says it's where they shake on agreements, judge criminals, hold weddings, etc. Must have been impressive once, if that's where they do official business. Note left by Stonemason for his cousin at Crestwoods Inn. 
we're gonna head back. We'll just head directly to the dam. Let's drain this water. I'm a bit surprised that um, this hasn't been done earlier. Like the blight ceases and then they're like, hey guys, maybe we should open that dam. But I guess the, the undead probably keep them away from... Uh, I mean, if the undead keep rising from the lake... I don't know. Because this was before the rifts as well. They probably had a decent amount of time to look into the whole dam issue. It's been years since the fifth blight. That building on the dam must be where we can open the floodgates. Old Crestwood. Oh, nice. And then we'll be able to walk from here. Hello? Is there anyone here? The Rusted Horn. That's cool. Fancy a swim? Oh, I've fallen. Now this is, I hope we get a cool cutscene like witnessing this because this will be sick otherwise. I wish to steal that rusted horn. Enter the tavern. Oh my god, it's okay. Are there people in this tavern? Hello? Oh my god, there is. What in? <gasps> the Inquisitor? We didn't know you were here, sir. Please don't tell anyone. You're fooling around. How did you get past the guards? There weren't any when we got here. We just heard you killed the bandits, your worship. We didn't know you were moving in, we promise. You won't tell people we were here, will you? Very, uh, very quick, guys, to move in here. I see you couldn't resist the thrill of a decrepit pub. There's nowhere else, sir. Everyone is crammed into the village. Lonnie's parents would have a fit if they saw us. <sighs> we'll have to wait an hour to go back. Your father will still be up. I knew this was a mistake. We could try the caves. You hate spiders. You find somewhere next time. <laughs> Don't go for the spider cave, guys. I'm sure there's a bedroom in here that you could go to instead of this place. And they had a whole, yeah, the whole thing set up here, didn't you? Let's see what's upstairs before we drain this lake. So funny. The First Blight, Chapter 1. Thetis is a land of fierce diversity, from the assassin princes of Antiva to the faded griffins of the Anderfels. But in my travels, I have found one tale that unites the people of this land. It is a story of pride and damnation. And although the telling differs, the essence of the tale remains the same. At the height of its power, the Tevinter Imperium stretched over much of Thetis uniting the known world under the rule of the tyrannical, tyrannical magisters. It is said that the old gods whom the magisters worshipped gave them the knowledge of blood magic, and the magisters used this forbidden power to cement their rule. The blood of elven slaves and humans alike ran down imperial altars to fuel magister greed, the tales of their excesses so horrifying that one can only be grateful that blood magic is prohibited today. That's right, we never see blood magic ever anymore. But all that stands tall must eventually fall. Perhaps they foresaw their ruin, or perhaps their pride knew no bounds, but whatever the reason, the Magisters dared to open a magical portal into the Golden City at the heart of the Fade. They sought to usurp the Maker's throne, long left unattended in the Golden City after the Maker turned his back on his creations. They would storm heaven itself with their power and become as gods. This is what the Chantry, in its oft-exercised tendency to understate, refers to as the second sin. According to most versions of the tale, the Magisters did indeed reach the Golden City and walked into the home of the Maker, where no living being before them had dared or been able to tread. But humanity is not meant to walk in heaven. The Magisters were wicked with pride and other sins, and their presence tainted the Golden City. 
What once was a perfect holy citadel became a twisted home of darkness and nightmares. The magisters were expelled back through their gateway and cursed for their treachery. As the golden city had been tainted, so were the magisters twisted and transformed into things of darkness, the very first of the darkspawn. The golden city, once a shining beacon at the heart of the Fade, became the black city, a reminder of all that man's pride has cost. Very good to read this again with what we know about Dragon Age Inquisition now um, and Corypheus. It, he's definitely attempting to recreate this once more to go back into the heavens. And like, I don't think you can blame me on this, but like, I'm mighty curious. Like, I kinda, there's a part of me that like, I wanna see it. I wanna see it happen. And that's exactly what happened with the Tevinter Magisters. They wanted to see it and they were punished for it. <laughs> um, but he said that they went there and it was empty. I, like, they have a different account. You know, Corypheus has a different story to tell. And I, I, uh, I just, I wonder how this is going to go. If we're actually going to witness him do something to this effect with different type of magic or whether it's going to remain a mystery. I have a feeling it'll probably continue to remain a mystery, but we're getting ever so close to like getting a proper account of what actually happened way back when. The Rushed Horn's menu. Welcome to the Rusted Horn. An ale is three coppers. Cold ale is ten coppers. Wine is two silver. And tea and brandy for six silver. Bread and cheese, turnip and mutton pie, fish, stew, plate of wyvern wings. It's really chicken. And wyvern steak, real. For two gold. So this is for Eldon? No wonder everyone left it for Kirkwall. Hmm. Sorry to drop in on you like that. All right. Ah, yes. All right, you three, get on the thing with me. <laughs> All right, I'll just do this on my own because I'm super strong. I'm so strong, I don't even need you three. That's so funny. You guys should have helped. Yes, we got a cutscene. Oh, never mind. The mayor said Darkspawn destroyed these controls ten years ago. Who repaired them? Good point. Oh. Ask the mayor. Well, there's the answer to my question. I was like, why didn't they just already do this? All right, the Darkspawn destroyed the controls, right? Or did they? Because look at them right here. Um. Okay, that was an underwhelming cutscene. I was like, ex I was waiting to see the water drain and to see the rift underneath it, but that's okay. We just got to see water moving instead. All right, let's have a look outside for ourselves then. Find an entrance to the flooded caves. Wow, okay. Mossy chains. All right, it's st there's still a lot of water. Something over there. Uh, so we can head over this way. And there's an astrarium there. Let's go over this way. Can we get down from here? Oh my god, the th the what is it called? The thaslophobia or something? Of like giant objects submerged underwater. Big chains really can set you off. You reckon I can safely get down from here? This is a ladder, right? Look at this. Pause. Expertly done. <laughs> I love being able to do that. Gold! Okay, well, I was... Okay. I thought this place would have potentially been, like, fully drained to the point where we could walk to the rift, but it seems that I guess now we can at least take a boat out to it, I suppose.
This was definitely the intended path, guys, to fall all the way onto the floor like that, and then to push through. I'm a, I'm a daredevil. I'm a risk taker. My, uh, my inquisitor. We love to just dive in head first. So rift closed, all right. Okay, maybe not a boat, but I guess we're taking. I, I guess if we're, I'm wanting to actually read properly. I got an Inquisition perk. I'm wanting to read properly. I guess it's the flooded caves. Ah, Solus would have said, "There's an Elven artifact nearby." And then I would do this, and he would say, Good, this will ward off rifts or demons or whatever. I can, I can hear him in my head. Solus, where's your approval? Approve me, Solus. It's just taking its sweet time. His approval is loading. Come on, Solus. <laughs> I must be praised. He's, he's not praising me. I'm a little bit upset. We should search the area. Is it really only going to work if I have Solus with me for those artifacts? This is why you just have to have Solus in your party at all times. Here. Grey whiskey, right wine, conscription ale, a bottle marked vintage, warden daedalum, extra red. I love how we've found a couple of warden ales. Only Riordan could have had uh, his uh, his drink before he was uh, thrown off the wing of uh, an archdemon. Never forget Riordan's incredible blow to that archdemon though. Took out that wing big time. God, Cassandra is just zooming on over there. Taking the we're taking the long way, but I feel like this is a good good way to go. Instead of just fast traveling back to the camp and like missing all of this, we get to do a nice like coast walk, pick up some stuff along the way. It's a landmark to be settled. I think we gotta try and get up. Landmark. So this is old Crestwood. Look at all the dead. Waiting for help that never came. Oh <laughs> smell just hits you, doesn't it? So this is the I would have really liked to have seen like a cutscene showing the water like 
you know, draining from this place. Oh, hello. All of Thetis, Hero's Lava Burst. It tastes like burning, brewed exclusively in Calvary. Oh, we got ghosts. Spirits, ooh. Ah. And getting struck by lightning, ooh. No, no, the other way. Oh, wow. Move, I said. I command it. Why does nothing listen? You, you there. Holy shit. I order you to tell me why nothing here heeds my commands. It's a spirit of some... Silence. Let the other one talk. <laughs> and then I can ask Cassandra. Why would I be asking Cassandra... Yeah, then. Oh. Why would I be asking if Cass Cassandra if this thing is safe? That's funny. I guess Cassaurus is in here. Cassandra's the next best authority. I'll be with you in a moment, Race. Don't worry. Done and done. All right, shall we try that again? Yes. Is it harmless, Cassandra, or could it turn into a demon? There's always a chance. Harmless spirits do not always remain so. Nonsense! I am in control of my fate! I was not addressing... <sighs> okay. Are you a spirit or a demon? Demon? Those dolts who would suck this world dry. I am called to higher things. All powerful spirits represent something. Compassion, justice, wisdom. Soft virtues all. I am more. I am command. What of you? I felt you're coming. Is there something alike in us? I think I just realized what uh, spirit uh, Cole is by having that mentioned. The spirit of compassion, right? I was I think I was saying like sympathy or empathy. Compassion would make sense. All you sensed was the anchor on my hand. Then you are less than I thought. But feel no shame. Some must follow those who lead. Okay. What's so distressing about the real world? It ignores me. I order the rocks to part, but they do not. I bid the sky draw close and it stays still. I don't know how you mortals stand it. Why haven't you gone back to the Fade? I will not be denied. I refuse to leave until something obeys my orders. A spirit of command. Then I feel compelled to help you. I pledge myself to your service. Excellent. I have only one command. A creature made of rage had the gall to chase me across the lake. Destroy it in my name and be rewarded. I've heard worse orders. Killing a demon is worthy of us at least. Okay. Destroy the rage demon in the flooded caves. Will do. Yeah, it would have been really nice for the cutscene to show this place being revealed on the map, so I would have actually had a bit more understanding of the... of what was actually uncovered. The Mayor's Old Home. A plaque by the door of this house reads Mayor Dedrick. And there's more wraiths around than just the commanding one. Always light lakes. Bet the fishing here was good. Before the blight in the Fade Rift, anyway. Ah, hmm. oh, I, I hate that sh coral, uh, fucking shit. It's like that feeling of like stuff that comes from underwater and it has all of the, the moss and seaweed and the barnacles. <sighs> uh, you can just imagine the texture of it. Hate it. Disgusting. And this was our established camp. 
there we go. This gives us some semblance of like what we were looking at before there. So from here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was all water, right? Yeah. Saw so none of that. There we go. Little comparison. I will rest. To replenish my supplies. Oh, didn't replenish my lyrium. Can you replenish those, please? And remember, I've got a jar of bees. I forget about that. Gotten here. There's a plaque. This was the mayor's old. Oops. A scrap of paper. The ink on this damp piece of paper is faded but legible. The work you wanted is done. Do what you want. I'll be in the hills trying to forget it. Rob it. A letter from Crestwood's mayor. Damp but legible. I, uh, I was expecting it to just be like the normal inventory that opens and then the dialogue still continues. Unfortunately not, so but I apologize. Huh. Was I supposed to know? I'm just finding bodies. Mild, Mildweird Diary. This diary has been kept miraculously dry in a sealed chest. Excuse me, it's on a table. Uh, but its pages are filled with powdery black mold. 29th of cloud reach in the 30th year of the Dragon Age. Grace has a cough. All well and good, but to help the all well and good to help those running from the blight. But if my daughter catches something from these refugees, I'll let the mayors hide. At least Dedrick moved them into the caves, so I thought they'd put up a fuss, but they went quiet and pale as the dead. The healthy ones were relieved, said their sick friends seemed to get worse in the daylight. Mika save us from a plague. Yes, that, that book that was in a chest. Um, all right, looking for some more bodies. Yes. No, I am, go away. I should leave. Off with you then. I am, I'm trying to loot. All right, looking for a collection of bodies on the ground. Templars first. Damn it, another one of these. Solus, approve of this action, please. I beg you. Ooh, we got bloodstones. Dude, we're getting a bunch of, like, a bunch of ales. Grey whiskey, right wine, conscription ale, bottom marked vintage, Warden Gibbons. Don't freaking touch, I spit in this, I mean it. <laughs> Quite a few, uh, quite a few wardens hanging out around this place. Maybe the other bodies will be in the caves themselves. Two of those are in such close proximity. Okay, so I'm looking for entrance to these caves. Like it's this way. Where does this lead? Um, let me have a look. I'm coming. Cremate the bodies of people lost in the flood. I'm wondering if you can find more in the caves or whether they're all just outside. We will have to wait and see. Come on, let's find that Fade Rift. Look at this. How deep do these caves run? Oh. Oh. Let's wait and see. Huh. Journey into the dark.
3B. Stormheart. Acquired Stormheart. Uh, is that a... Is that an item? Um, it's not a weapon. Doesn't really seem like the name of that. What did I just get? Is it a valuable? Stormheart. Uh, it's not a valuable. It's not an upgrade. Fuck, what, what did I just get? Stormheart. It's a common metal. Okay, we're going going down. friendly in here. There was like a an item that came up around here somewhere and I did the search function but I couldn't find it. I have to keep my eyes peeled for it. Alright. Down we go. Eventually take us to the Fade Rift, I suppose. What a journey. Okay. And here I just wanted to go and hang out with my pal Hawk and Alistair. Pretty all lit up in here. The despair demon. Ring Velvet, nice. Bodies. Were people living down here when Old Crestwood flooded? Cold water rising. No way out. Make his breath. Okay. Bodies, but not the ones that we're looking for. So it must still be in um, in Crestwood. We just missed it. Oh my god! Another dead body with a fucking cheese slice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon it's cheese from the same wheel? What is going on? What is with the dead bodies and the cheese? Is there a joke that I am not clued in on? There's dwarven ruins down here. Holy shit! Looks like an old outpost. What's it doing here? Dwarven ruins are always where you least expect them. They they do be digging and making things underground. Oh my god, it's huge. Hello. That's just a that's just a normal sized demon. It's just your average demon. Oh my god! I'm ooh, I might have to actually switch um Oh. Oh, well, you won't let me switch weapons. Of course you won't. I was going to switch from my fire staff. That's fine. Just doing my best to keep wailing on this bad boy. Just 
still does some damage, but there is a bit of immunity there. the spirit in old crestwood of the demon's demise that was the rage demon right on i have done what the spirit has commanded okay i feel like if i could jump like one centimeter higher than what the game allows me to i would it would just be so much so much more things done. Is our fade rift? A ladder, eh? Okay, let's close the fade rift and then we'll go down here. By the rift, demons. Good observation. Die! I would have never have guessed. is closed! Man. New axe. One of the last Emerald Knights alive after the Exalted March destroyed the Elven Dales, Namaris famously lodged his axe in the tree he had planted in the Emerald Grave, saying, Let it remain here until my people are free, to mark my soul, which shall never rest. Then he threw himself into a river, his body never found or interred. An Orlesian adventurer poisoned the tree to take the weapon after fleeing Dalish hunters seeking vengeance for the sacrifice. Gotcha. Yeah, that should stop any more corpses from strolling about. Let's tell the man. Excuse me. It's underground. Hit that. It might be down that ladder, but that doesn't feel like that matches the location. There's a chest hidden in the walls. Alright, I've reached level 13. Which means I'm now old enough to wield the Magister Lightning Staff. Oh, I can't put the grip and the blade on it, so I can't even put my plus five magic on there. That's uh, sadness right there. It upsets me, it does. All right, that rift is done. I'm gonna check out down here. Go 
treasure trove. Eh, basic stuff, that's fine. Um, we cannot fast travel from here, so let's head back. Let's inform the mayor that the rift is closed. We'll try and find uh, this third pile of bodies in Old Crestwood before we leave. Oh, it's nice weather up today. Look at that. The rain is gone and the sun shines on Crestwood. Beautiful. All right, let's try and look for sad old uh, corpse piles. One more around this place. There's deep stalkers here. Yes. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. I seriously can't believe that worked. Amulet of power. Another cool story for Varric to add to his tales. Oh, and there's our corpse pile. Return the remains to Sister Vaughn. I just, alright everyone, pick up a, a body or two each and we'll carry him back. <laughs> we'll just carry him right on back. Um, you want us to return to the mayor? Well... I've got to go to this Astrarium first. I'm wondering how I can get there. Maybe through here. Alright, let's travel back to the village. The Astrarium and the Landmark will have to wait for the moment. I've got a Mayor to update. Fine day, Your Worship. What do you mean the Mayor's gone? What? Oh, for God's sake. Hello? Oh, he's left a note. Letter of confession. Inquisitor, it was not Darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago. I did, in secret, the night they attacked. The undead you have been fighting are people I killed with my own hands. And that's why he left that note in the old sunken mayor's house. They knew that we would find it. The waterproof paper with that note of regret. We'd taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower past of part of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd been he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive is if the Blight sick drowned with the monsters. I cannot bear the sight, old Crestwood now, uh, that the water is gone. I cannot stay. I'm sorry. A letter of confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago, to stop the Blight from spreading. I knew he was nervous about more than the undead. It's monstrous, but if it stopped the Blight from wiping out the entire village... That sorry bastard. He left before he could get caught. Damn. Well, there you go. The mayor has run off. So it's an operation to go and find him. All right, we're going to head back to uh, Skyhold anyway, because we've got War Table operations unlocked. So that's going to be how we how we close out for today. We've got War Table operations, and then we'll head back to Crestwood next time to actually meet up with our beloved Hawk. I need to learn to stop moving and talking during when it's loading a new area, so my webcam doesn't like look like I'm some fucking glitching robot. Um, honestly. To the war Inquisitor? table. Maybe I should speak with my companions soon as well. We'll probably do that at the start of the next episode. We'll uh, see if anyone's got anything new to say, like our advisors or anything. Uh, ha ha! Deft hands, fine tools, baby. Not even going to. <laughs> not even going.
going to consider any other options. I can finally go to those locked doors. I'm glad that they marked on the map. All right. Crestwood has had no further trouble with the undead. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Observing the deadlock. Despite their intent to craft a political entity to oppose us, these noble families are too embroiled in their own conflicts to even acknowledge us. We have acquired some additional trading partners who are tired of waiting for a winner to emerge. Rescue the spy. Um, locate weapon of Tierda Brightax. Josephine, Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tierda's legendary axe was an axe set with a crystal, an axe with a magically reinforced crystal and head, or perhaps just a very polished axe. But apparently the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe, in fact, merely means hafted weapon. It's possible that translation of the saga have been edited to omit evidence that Tierda Brydax may have been using what seems, from all appearances, to be a staff, as would commonly be used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in this matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translations in the future. Your sister Dorcas Garen. How interesting. Bright axe, right? Bright. Staff. Bright magic. That changes things dramatically though, when someone is like goes from being like a warrior to a mage. Tiered as staff. Cool. Uh, diverting soldiers in the frostbax is available. Gather herbs to serve any master. Escape routes for agents Crestwood and find the Crestwood's man. Okay. Um, is, uh, is Cullen on a mission right now? Or is he not on a mission? No. No one's on a mission right now. Okay. Time to send people on missions. Crestwood's mayor. The mayor of Crestwood left a letter confessing he was the one who flooded the village. All right. We can have Liliana's agents inquire, a warrant for his arrest, or soldiers on the road who can hunt him down. Um, you can tell who my favorite agent to you, my favorite advisor to use here. I just think Liliana is just great. Let's make sure we know what we have available first before I start choosing though. To serve any master. Oh, this is just for. Josephine. I'm pretty sure this is for Josephine as well. So we've got a couple just for her. Uh, this is three and a half hours. And this one is 30 minutes. All right, well, I'm gonna get her to do this one. And then next episode, I'll get her to do the 30 minute one. Madame Ambassador, words cannot express my gratitude for your gracious hospitality at Skyhold. After the events at Haven, one can hardly go anywhere in the Empire without hearing the word Inquisition. So these are more rumors and slander. We've already read these. It's just, I need to give him a quick once over again. Now that he's been here, we should talk to the nobles he'd been seen with. And let them all know. At your service. Oh, two and a half hours. Nice. So that'll be done by the next time that we play. Escape routes for agents in Crestwood. Inquisitor, I've moved some of my agents into Care Bronach, the fortress in Crestwood. At uh, the moment, the villagers prefer us to the bandits, and it is an excellent waypoint from Fuelden to Ole. We can make it a rendezvous point for our messengers carrying sensitive information from either country. You're familiar with the caves underneath Crestwood. They run for miles, and if we excavate some passages, our agents could easily enter and exit the keep without being seen. That is just a Liliana mission. But I'll see how useful she is in rescuing a spy. Nobility and Val... I'm just going to keep saying Shevin. I'm just going to say how it's written. Val Shevin have caught Miller, an Inquisition spy. She has tricked them into thinking she's a bard from the Elysian court, but the deception will last only so long. Extract her before her captors learn who she is and demand a ransom, an investigation, or an execution. So our hand must not be seen in this. I can send Miller tools to escape, but she must leave on her own. And I can dispatch armed guards claiming Miller is wanted by the Inquisition. I doubt anyone will test us. Ooh. She has tricked them into thinking she's a bard. Okay. I'm going to take Cullen. To work? Yeah. Wanted by the Inquisition and we can liberate her that way. And then we'll have um, uh, Liliana do... Um, oh, come on, there's so many close together. 
finding Crestwood's mayor. Off you go. Only 18 minutes, that one. Inquisitor. Off you go. Lovely. All right. My advisors are off on missions and they will be done in good time. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, it was our intention to go and have a chat with Hawk and Alistair this time, but there was obviously much more to be done first before we could do that. Uh, we do have Tierda's staff. It has no flavor text, but it is much stronger than what we've currently got. So I'll take the magic loss to equip that staff. Nice. Gorgeous looking staff that one is. This Magister Lightning staff looks cool as well. Perfect. All right. That brings our episode to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. Next time we'll head back to Crestwood in a valiant attempt to actually make contact with Alistair and Hawk this time. I'll see you then.